Hi guys, how's it going? Hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. Today's video is going to be just like a chatty get ready with me video um, for my Valentine's Day date that I'm going on tonight. Um, so if you wanna see how to get this kind of just like soft, movey, you know, easy, quite easy to do look, then let's jump into it. <clears throat> all right guys, I'm going to start off by priming. I just like went cross eyed there. <laughs> I'm going to use this um, product from Maybelline. This is the Master Prime by Face Studio Primer and Base. Um, it says that it hydrates and smooths, and I've been using this a little bit. It kind of has like a thicker consistency to it, and I really, really like it because honestly, it just feels like a moisturizer in my opinion. I'm not a big fan of like silicone -y, like the pore filling in primers I find for my dry skin, it just doesn't really work. But this just feels like an extra layer of moisture and that is really what I'm needing. Oh, there's like a little bit of foundation left over on the tip of my nose from last night. So when I, I was thinking about this, what? so when I was thinking about, what am I doing? So when I was thinking about what I wanted to do for this look, I was picturing just like really kind of nice, like dewy kind of, you know, natural-ish skin with like mauve and just like soft and everything. So I'm going to use this foundation, you guys. This is from Maybelline. This is their Dream Cook Cushion um, Liquid Foundation on the go. And I have not used this in so long, like in months. So I um, like to actually mix the shade 10 and 15 together. Um, but I remember really liking this foundation. So I hope it's not like dried up because I feel like I it has that nice kind of like soft, natural feeling that I'm looking for. It's looking nice, but it's a little bit streaky. So I'm also going to take my sponge and just make sure it is nice and blended into the skin. If you are someone who likes a lighter, more natural looking foundation, I would highly recommend this. Like I can still see my skin, um, you know, it doesn't look flawless. My imperfections are still coming through, but I think sometimes that's nice. Like we don't always all have to be like having a mask on kind of thing. Um, but what I am gonna do is use a more full coverage concealer to um, kind of like balance out and cover up the places that I feel like I need to. I forgot how light this concealer is. This is in the shade light and it says ultra fair um, from It Cosmetics. So I'm gonna blend this in because I can make it work for underneath my eyes, but then I'll probably use something else for the rest of my face. And for the face concealing, I'm going to take this Dermablend Quick Fix Concealer in 10C Natural. I am just setting my um, face using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. You guys know I just can't get enough of this stuff. Um, but yeah, I am getting ready today, guys, for a Valentine's Day date. But it actually is, what date is it? It's Sunday. It's February 11th today. Um, and Brooks and I are just doing a little Valentine's Day date early because I'm heading out of town tomorrow. And while Valentine's Day isn't like, you know, super big deal to us or anything, uh, we thought it would be nice to go out for dinner and just spend some time together. So I think we're just going to Cactus Club. It's a restaurant, well, it's a restaurant for sure in Western Canada. I don't know where else it is, but it's really good. And we have a gift certificate. So I mean, can't not, right? Um, and yeah, Brooks actually this week, he is working the night shift. Um, he's an engineer and sometimes he works odd hours. So he wouldn't even really be home for us to spend Valentine's Day together. So it all works out. It's, it's gonna be nice. Do you guys have Valentine's Day plans? Are you doing something with your significant other? Are you um, having a Galentine's Day, spending it with your girl girlfriends? Um, because yeah, I think it's easy sometimes to, if, to like get down on yourself if you're single and like Valentine's Day I know can like stir up a lot of, you know, emotions in people and sadness and everything, but, and it's, you know, easy for me to talk me given that I'm in a relationship, but I hope that you guys all have a really great day and you're not like stressed out because it's supposed to just be a day of love, in my opinion. I really like the way that my face makeup looks. I think it looks like enough coverage that I'm content with it, but it doesn't look like a mask or heavy whatsoever. Like I really like the way that all kind of 
paired together. For my bronzer, I'm just taking my trusty Lancome Sunswept. I just, whenever I use other bronzers, I find myself wishing it was this one. It's just so, it's just the perfect shade and it blends on very, very nicely. My lips are so dry. I'm just gonna put on some of this NYX lip oil. It's so hydrating. I love, love, love this product. Um, for my blush, I am going to take some of this more like nudey kind of mauve shade and mix it in with this like corally from the NYX um, Sweet Cheeks palette. I love this palette so much. And then for my highlighter, I am going to be taking the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in Molten Rose Gold because I use this every single day. And a pink highlighter for Valentine's Day, it just feels wrong to do anything else. I am going to quickly fill in my brows using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. This is just a great little brow pencil. Mine is in the shade Brunette. And I'm also going to take um, the Brow Stylus Boost and Set. Um, it's like a gel, I believe, Volumizing Brow Mascara. Um, I really like this because it sets your brows and it also adds a little bit of fullness. So any areas that kind of could use a little extra oomph get filled in. And I like to use this actually um, on days when I am not feeling like filling in my brows. It kind of sets things in place um, and it's super quick. I, I really like this product. There's actually little fibers on that come out of here. All right, guys, probably were expecting this, but I'm going to be using the Naked 3 palette. When I was determining which eyeshadow palette or which eyeshadows to use today, I just could not get this one out of my mind. Like it is just a classic Valentine's Day palette in my opinion. It's not something that I reach for for often. It's not the best palette in the world. I'm just being honest. Um, but I, I don't know. I just, I hold like nostalgic um, feelings towards this. So I never get rid of it. Um, and when I was imagining what I wanted to do for my eye look, I was picturing kind of just like soft pink, mauve nothing too shimmery, like mainly matte. Um, and that this is the palette to do that with. So I'm going to start off by taking Limit. It is the lighter um, matte shade in the palette. And I'm going to put that kind of like all over, not only in my crease, but I'm going to keep that lower down as well. Um, the Naked 3 palette is one that my dad actually bought for me for Christmas. And so I think that's like years ago. And I think that's why I hold some, you know, it like means a lot to me, but also like Urban Decay really was like the first company to do like a palette, like put together a range of eyeshadows. Um, and of course it was with the original Naked palette. And then uh, since then, all companies have followed suit. So at the time, these palettes were like revolutionary, like incredible. But since then, you know, formulas and everything have really, really vastly improved. Um, I find that these like shimmery shades here, they're great now, but when you first get them, there's like an overlay that you kind of had to like scrape away. Um, but like, I will always love the Naked palettes. I really, really will. Um, and you can see like this, um, transition this limit matte shade blends so 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 nicely and it just has that perfect tone that it's super super flattering and then all over my lid I'm going to take Nooner which is slightly deeper than limit one of my major kind of complaints and I think it's a lot of people feel the same way about um, this is that these naked palettes like the one two and three really don't have a lot of matte shades in them and I think they you know in the naked um, heat palette they listened and there was a lot more matte but I feel like at the time people like this is what people wanted they wanted more shimmery I don't really know but I still love this palette guys I just do and I've always loved this highlighting shade in here. This is called Strange, and it is the most beautiful matte, but like satiny highlight. Oh good, just, why would I pick this brush? Like look at how big this brush is. It was in front of my face, so I was like, oh that'll do. No Kelsey, like, no. 
For my lower lash line, I'm going to take Nooner, that's the darker one, on more of a little flat brush here, and just press that into my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take Limit on a little pencil brush and blend that out a little bit. Oops, sorry, I should have had you zoomed in. I'm bad at things. So that is where we're at so far. It's just a very kind of like simple matte kind of blown out mauve smoky eye actually. And um, I want my eyes to be very bright and awake and fresh looking. So I'm going to take a little bit of a nude eyeliner. This one is from Maybelline. It is the Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil in Soft Nude. This actually has a little bit of like a satin sheen to it. And so it doesn't look very harsh and I really like that. I was going to apply liquid eyeliner, but I just don't think that's the play. I'm just not feeling that any longer. So what I'm actually going to do, I think this is what I will like more. I'm just going to take a deep brown shade. This is in the NYX Lid Lingerie Palette. Um, and then this shade right here, it's like a deep brown kind of almost maroon-ish type of shade on a little angled brush. And I'm gonna line my lash line on the upper area, mainly for our false lashes. But um, yeah, cause I don't want anything to look harsh. I just want this to be like soft and romantic, you know? For my inner corner highlight, I want something a little bit more shimmery. So I'm actually going to use my Lancome um, highlighting palette. I just need a brush. This highlighter from Lancome in a sparkling pesh is a dream. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that because you just need the tiniest dot of this product. And I'm going to apply that to the inner corner. I think it's really nice when you have an all matte look to really kind of make that inner corner stand out and just liven things up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to put on some mascara. This is from NYX. This is the Worth the Height mascara. This is only my second time using it, but so far I'm liking it. I'm just touching my upper lashes ever so slightly just to darken them for my false lashes, but I mainly want to use this on my lower lash line. Now you definitely don't have to wear false lashes like few coats of mascara would look wonderful, um, but I am gonna put some on. I don't know what these are. You can see I don't have the box. Oh, that looks weird. Um, I don't have the box for them anymore, but these are a little bit more dramatic than what I'm used to wearing, but I thought um, for this more natural look that it would be nice to kind of have some bolder lashes. So I am going to apply these. I just ripped some out as I was trying <laughs> to remove them. Great, Kelsey. All right, here are the lashes on. Um, I don't know why, but I just was like extremely struggling to get those on. I feel like sometimes lashes, they pop on super easily and other days it's like painful, but I really like the way they look. They're quite full. Um, I did add a thin layer of liquid eyeliner just to like the very base of the lash because like I said, they just didn't go on very easily or nicely <laughs> in my opinion. So I just needed to kind of cover that up a bit. For my lips, I wanted to do a nice Nice, just kind of like pinky mauve and these are the two shades that I pulled from my little collection these are both from the Maybelline matte collection in lust for blush and ravishing rose so I might do like a mixture or just one let's see this one here is lust for blush and this one is ravishing rose so let's start off with this lighter one here pretty. It's very pink. So let's also add a little bit of the Lust for Blush. All right, guys, that wraps up today's little get ready with me for my Valentine's Day date tonight. Um, it's a very just soft kind of look. What kind of look do you guys wear for Valentine's Day? Um, this is just kind of my preference. It's not like Brooks, like he cares, but I mean, he's not ever someone who's like, even really comments on makeup, you know, but um, yeah, I like the way that this turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.